Obviously, I need to bring some wrestling glasses. In case the airlines decide to lose my bike again, I'm going to be using an air tag hidden on the stem of the bicycle. This is a product I designed. It's amazing. Just came out last year and it hides an air tag so that you can track your bike anytime and it just looks like a normal stem cap. Most of the time when I bring a lock, I never use it, but I'm considering bringing this lock by pinhead just because it's fairly light considering. It's about 600 grams. These things are still heavy, but my other locks are way heavier. Definitely bringing a headlamp. The tent I'll be using is made by Big Agnes. They're one of the leaders in the field of ultralight tents. I chose to get a two-person tent because I don't think I'll use a one-person tent. If I'm going solo, I'd usually use my hammock, but in Lesotho, there's really not many trees, so I can't do that. This, this particular one is the Mountain Glow, and it comes with LEDs inside, which is kind of cute, so we'll see how that works. The sleeping bag I'll be using is from a company called Feathered Friends, and it's not actually a sleeping bag, it's what's called a quilt. It's just a full rectangle like this that you can wrap into a tube and it has a zipper on one end and a drawstring on the bottom so this way you can keep your feet out if it's too hot or you can just have it lying over you if it's really hot or you can zip it up for really cold weather it's very ultra light and fits into a five liter dry bag to sleep soundly at night i'll be bringing an ultra light inflatable mattress the great thing about this one is you use the bag connects to the mattress and the bag becomes a pump i'm excited to try out the tent <laughs> 